Also, the car looks really nice, besides the hood. The tires in the front is kind of flat. There are a few scratches and dent. The lower radiator support is bent, so I'm gonna fix it. So it's pretty straightforward. You just use a spot wheel drill bit and then drill out the spot wheel. You know, take out the old one and put the new one in and make it as straight as possible and weld it. The other options I see people do is just bolting it up with bolts. I've seen a lot of 240 that does that. Uh, but those are people who swap the engines a lot. It's not as easy as just, you know, taking out the old one and welding in the new one. Uh, it takes, you know, it takes a lot of measuring. Uh, it has to fall to within spec before you start welding. But here, I'm not making it perfect. I'm just making it work. And, and you know, if it lines up good, then I'm okay with it. Further inspection, the car's not too bad um, besides the front end. You can see the body line doesn't match up that well. <clears throat> um, still a lot of tires left, tread left on the tire, but these are winter tires, so I suspect that whoever owns it drives it in the winter. But overall, the body's not bad because there's minimal rust. In fact, there's barely any rust even under the wheel, wheel well whoever had it took care of this car really well besides these minor scratches you know it's not too bad you probably washed the car really well interior is nice just dirty this is the only dent I could find, which is not awful too. 
I wish it would be on a removable part. Little surface rust here, probably gonna take care of it before winter comes. And then here's bubble rust. Chip. But this is plastic, so I wouldn't take care of it anytime soon. Yeah, the, these rusts aren't bad at all. Because you're, you're talking about a 20 year old car, you know, and this should be completely rust out. These, you know, these brackets. Look at the control arm. They're not too bad. The shocks, the shocks are still nice. Um, they, they're not dead yet. Let's take a look on the underbody. Oh yeah, look at that. It's actually really good for a Midwest car. Let's take, let's take a look at the interior. Dash is nice. Uh, the seats are still in good shape too. No rips or tear. Just a little bit worn. Carpets are nice. Yeah, besides being dirty inside, this car is pretty nice. Whoever had it took care of it really well. A little paint chip here. The hood is probably the worst thing about this car. It's a... Uh, it's primer and then never paint it so there's a lot of surface rust I'm probably gonna find one from the junkyard and just carbon fiber wrap it or probably paint this one in carbon fiber wrap it but the winter is coming so I can't you know do any painting anytime soon and the bumper is not too awful probably just gonna keep it like this for a while Let's check out the engine. Everything's still intact, you know. And I like that. The engine is fairly clean, no leak. Um, does it seem to have, you know, had gasket problem? Battery still work. Our brake fluid is still clean. So where's the clutch? Clutch fluid still is fairly clean. Mm. Intake filter is still clean too. And yeah, look at that heat shield. The heat shield is really clean. I mean, considering you know it's a really old car. So as the accessories, the belt's not bad. I have cars that are newer than this. You know, heat shield rusted out, and then alternators. And all these, you know, accessories will be rusted. This is actually a really good car. So I've been driving the car for a while now. And I'm pretty impressed. You know, this combination is probably the best for the 4G. The... The 3.8 with a six-speed manual transmission. This thing's fun to drive. I, I got a few cars from the auction before, and you know, by far this is one of the funnest one. Probably is the funnest one. We're talking about you know the SC300, the EPSI, the the EK, you know CX. I also got a EGSI as well, and. Uh, Eclipse GS uh, Spider, the 2G, and uh, and a few other cars, you know. And by far, this this is the funnest one, you know. You're talking about a 3,400 pound car with 260 horsepower and 260 foot pounds of torque on a six-speed manual transmission. This thing's fun to drive, especially for daily. So the timing belt was replaced, you know, just a couple thousand miles ago, last year. So I 
I be driven the car home from the auction and it does drive nice but then now I'm like I've been driving it for a while to see what's wrong with it and so far there's there's not a lot of things wrong with this car the shifts nice um, it doesn't overheat anymore The shocks aren't that bad. And the more I drive it, the more I, I, I like the car. fun to drive you know um i actually really like this car <laughs> i mean i own it but aside from that you know get this car i i, I got it for a thousand dollar with tax titles and everything and with the lower core support i i spent about 80 bucks for it so far, this this car I spent about three hundred dollars for it, on it, and I said it's it's actually a really good deal. Uh, I wouldn't probably gonna buy. I mean, I'm not gonna buy it, you know, for for its full price. But I can see why people would buy it. The, the seats are nice. The interiors are nice. <laughs> you know, shifting's nice. Engine's good. You know, it's actually a really good car, you know. Yeah, after driving this car, I I think I plan to keep it, at least for a while. It's actually a really fun car to drive. Uh, I wouldn't put it, you know, up there with, you know, my 240 and my Supra, but it's it's really fun to, to drive it. You know, a naturally aspirated car that, you know, has a fair amount of power. And I think this car, you know, people are sleeping on it. It's like one of the most underrated sport car. I think it's because people, people was in love so much with the 2G. And then anything afterward, they just kind of, you know, dismiss it. You know, without giving a test drive or driving it. And honestly, you know, I, I love my 2G. I own a 2G DSM before this, <clears throat> a while back. And... This thing is way funner to drive than the 2G. If you guys haven't drive the 4G Eclipse and you own a 2G, a DSM, give it a test drive. You know, NA is like, a powerful NA is really fun to drive. Just, you know, if you have a friend or you're thinking about buying another car, you know, this thing's fun to drive. I don't really care for that look that much. I, I think the 2G DSM, especially the Eclipse, looks way better than this. That car just looks amazing. You know, looks better than this car. But in terms of performance and, you know, driving and all the, what is that, all, all the comfort, this car has surpassed the 2G completely. And, and this, it's reason why, you know, it's the, two, the, the 2G Eclipse, you know, successor. You know, so give it a, give it a chance. You know, you're, your your DSM out there, DSM owners, give it a chance. And I got a friend who has a 3G clips. This is way better than this that too. You know, so I don't know. Don't get the four cylinder. I driven the four cylinder, the 4G. It's not that good. It's really slow. It's it's too underpowered. But yeah, if you enjoy watching, you know. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. You know, I plan to do more videos about this car. This car is just amazing. So, thanks for watching.